Welcome to Hot Paws Unboxed. Today we're looking at the Sam Fors ER260 cash register. First of all, we've just taken this directly out of the box. In the box, the components are the cash register, the user manual, inside the plastic sleeve of the user manual are our operator keys. We have our paper in a black plastic sleeve, which you can open like so, and we have a spindle. Now the best place for the spindle is actually in the top drawer of your desk. It's never really used. The paper just sits in the bottom of the paper cavity as we'll show you in a moment. First things we need to do is power up the cash register. We'll just move this to the side. On the right hand side of the cash register we have a physical on off switch which is located here. It just has the on and off position. Turn him back around. Now we're going to grab the key here. We're going to insert the C key, which is the control key, into the key lock like so. Then we're going to take our paper roll and we're going to place that in the cash register. First we lift off the paper cover from behind that just pulls up. After taking the paper cover off, you'll see there is a piece of paper in there from the manufacturer. There is an open tab here, the yellow tab. We simply push that forward, which opens the paper mechanism, and a piece of paper comes out. We're now putting in our own paper roll, which came in the box. To do that, we place the paper roll the slot like so. We pull it forward feeding from underneath like so and we close the lid. Then we take our paper cover and we simply feed it through the slot. We replace it by putting the two tabs into the front of the housing like so and it simply slides back and clicks into place. Next we can power on our cash register by turning it on on the right hand side and turn our key to register. You will notice the initial display is 0.00, .00 on our cash register. We are now ready to do some basic functions. Here on our right hand side is the numerical keypad. This is used to enter in all our dollar amounts for transactions. On your left hand side you will notice numbers 1 to 11 these are our department buttons or sales category buttons. For example, one may be food, two may be drinks, and your reports would reflect totals for those at the end of the day. We can simply start out of the box by entering in a dollar amount and pressing a department key. For example, $25, we would press 2500. You will notice I did not use the decimal point you never use the decimal point on a cash register or you will get the nasty beeping noise. We then allocate that $25 to a department, in this case Department 1. We can then allocate another sale, say $30, 3000 to Department 2. We notice it has $30 on the display. We can then subtotal our sale, giving us $55. If your customer then hands you $60, you would enter 6 0, double zero, and cash. At that stage the cash drawer will open, your receipt will finish printing and on the customer display will show $5 change to give to your customer. The first button we're going to explain is the clear button. This button will stop any nasty beeping you may receive by pressing the wrong button inadvertently when you're learning your cash register. For example, if we don't enter any sale and we try to finalise on the check button, you'll notice E1 on the display, which means a sequence error, a nasty beeping noise, clear will always remove a beep. The next thing we're going to look at is called the void key. This is if we enter a sale and allocate it to a department and then quickly realise we've entered it to the wrong department or the customer no longer wants the item. 
In our example, we're going to put $25 to Department 1, to 50 Department 1. We've just realised that should be Department 2. We can press the void key. By doing that, you'll notice there is a minus appears on the operator display. And then you can put $25 into the correct department, Department 2, 2502. We can prove that it's correct by pressing the subtotal button and we have our $25. We can then finalise the sale by pressing cash. Alright, the next function we're going to look at is called the cancel button, which is located here. This button is if you get stuck anywhere in a transaction and you just want to start again, or the customer unfortunately maybe tried by, to pay by card and there was some problem at the bank with their card and they had to leave and could not complete the transaction. So if we enter in $25 to Department 1 to begin our transaction, and $3 to Department 2, 3002, and we press subtotal to subtotal our sale. Now perhaps there is an issue in completing the sale, or well, the customer no longer wants the items, you can remove the entirety of the sale by pressing the cancel button, which will bring your total down to zero. You can now commence with the next sale. The next function we're going to look at is called the return function. This is the button located here. This is for any returns or refunds outside of a normal sale. For example, a customer bought something yesterday, they want to return it for a refund, to do this, you basically enter the sale as you would normally enter a sale by entering a price and then a department, but we just press the return key first. So we press return and then $25, department 1. We've now returned a $25 amount against department 1. We then press the method that we would like to refund the customer by pressing cash in this instance. We press cash, draw opens. We notice it says minus 25 on the customer display and we give the $25 to the client. Now we're going to learn how to do our end of day report which is used for our sales totals and balancing the cash draw. The first thing we need to do is turn our key from the reg position to the Z position on the key lock. We do so by turning clockwise like so until the keys around to the Z position. We simply then just press the cash key, the draw will open, for you to count your money and out of the receipt printer will come all your daily sales totals, your department totals, GST totals and your cash in draw totals allowing you to balance your till. The Sam Fors brand cash register ER260 is a very robust machine. You have the backing of the Sam Fors name, which has been in the cash register industry in Australia for a very long time. It's an extremely solid retail unit with a 12-month warranty that simply won't let you down. So why choose the ER260? It's a step up from the ER180 model in that it has a tougher, more robust raised keyboard a quiet and stronger thermal printer, a metal cash drawer. It's really designed for operators who are doing a lot of transactions in a day. The rollers in the cash drawer are strong to allow continual opening and closing and the printer mechanism is one of the strongest in the market to allow printing many receipts in a day without failing. I should talk about the hot pause difference when purchasing cash registers online. We've got our complete set of training videos for you for ease of feature description and programming. We have setup guides downloadable from our dedicated help website. We provide phone support for free for all our customers for the life of your machine. And we have plenty of machines in stock for fast delivery to your door.